Introducing first, led to the ring by DVN, hailing out of Pelham, New Hampshire, at a total combined weight of one pound more than their opponents, 402 pounds, the team of Cam Zagami and All Good Anthony Green. Collectively, this is the Cam and Connection. Welcome back to Blast yeah. TV, ball guys. I think he's. I, I think you're still a little out of breath from all that uh, discoing you were doing. Well, you know, I, I couldn't help it, man. I had found my groove and I got into it. Here I am. It, it, it wasn't a pretty thing. No, it never is. It never is. But we do have the cam, the cam and, and connection right here. Being escorted out to the ring by Davian. These two have been making uh, quite a statement in the tag team ranks. Obviously, the ultimate goal has to be the Elite Tag Team Championship. Uh, you know, I'm sure. And you know what, these guys, you know, you got to give it to them, man. They, they, they're, they're a talented tag team. They really are. They know how to get the job done. WXWC4 Nation. It looks like somebody lost their bet. That I do. And you know what's funny? Is that I don't need a baseball bat to get the third base. That's what my good looks are for. Oh, man. Cam, seriously, seriously, seriously. We have a bucket. Uh, uh, Tonight, Cam Zagami and Anthony Green were supposed to wrestle in a number one contenders match for the tag team titles against South Phillies finest. Unfortunately, that match won't be happening tonight. Why not? You know, yeah, that's a good it seems that South Philly's finest just isn't on the same level as the Cam and Connection. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, these, these guys talk a dangerous game. And it looks like your boy Jimmy Conway isn't the only one swimming with the fishes. Roll the clip! Razi now. He is having none of it, and it looks like his partner, Jimmy Conway, is not in the picture. The Cam and connection. This is not a match. I don't see a referee. Luca Brazi, nice German suplex there. Brazi is working on getting his revenge. Now here we see our commissioner, Maven Bentley. Luca, I, I, I know you're upset, I know you're upset. Cam, Anthony, I told you before, we don't tolerate the kind of crap that you guys pull here in WXWC4. So you think you're out of your match? You're not, because next month, South Philly's finest will face the K&M's in action, and it will be for the number one contendership. And guess what? If you touch him or his partner before the match, you're suspended. 
We're having some audio issues. So you're still looking for a photographer for your important event. Check it out. SK Productions LLC is all about video and photography. We're located in Northeast Pennsylvania and can handle weddings, sporting events, business events, proms, music videos, birthday parties. Uh, I think they get the idea. For your video and photography needs, head over to skproductions.com. That's skproductions.com. SK Productions with a Z.com. Has anyone seen Alpha Jr.? Could it be his fear of the things that lurk in the darkness that keeps him hidden, most likely shivering down to his very bones, wondering when the next attack will occur? Only time will tell. Sleep well, Jr. <laughs> Time we didn't already came out here tonight. We didn't already trash somebody tonight. I went talk to Sam O. It's an open challenge. Anybody Allentown got that think they bad enough to step in the ring for West Philadelphia's bet. I'm sorry. You. Yeah, you. You, you think you want to fight me? Not, not you, the woman right there. Yes, you. Woman, you think you want to come fight me? Yes, you. you want my, nah. Uh, how about you? Yeah, you. No, not you, sir. I'm talking about the little girl right there in the paint. That's what I want. You. You. That's right. I want the little girl right there. Ah, I want him. Welcome back to Blast TV, ball guys. Nate Carter putting out an open challenge. Accepting the challenge. Disco. <laughs> definitely, definitely a fan favorite here in WSW. Right on. C4 and Ball Guy. I'm pretty sure you had hair like that at one point in time, correct? I have no comment. <laughs> Disco Libre, a graduate of the Wild Samoan Training Center. However, I don't think the training center taught him those rad moves that he, the rad dance he has. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever seen Samu try to dance, ball guy? No. Thank you. Little kicks. Thankfully, no, I have not. I never have not. No, I have not. But that would be his generation, man. You know? I remember
remember this tune. I remember dancing to this tune. I don't know that I danced like that, but I remember dancing to this tune. Fans thoroughly behind Disco Libre. I, 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 he has, a, he has a, a section of the crowd. They're dressed up in their afros and their disco suits. I, That's a whole lot of hair going on over there, man. Holy cow. Disco getting in there. Look at him. Juking and jiving. Helps him miss, avoid the punches. Waist lock reverse. Carter now. Oh! Disco wanted to get down with his bad self. I think so. Carter was having none of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Carter didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, nice duck. Oh, nice left. Another nice left. Another. Let's go Libre. Oh! <laughs> I can't even call that, man. I don't know what's going on in these matches, this guy here. Disco, everything with the flare. Charges. Nice splash. Bring down hits wow. the beautiful Bulldog. That's Libre nice. with the cover. Kick out by Carter. Wow, you know, I'll tell you what. Libre, I got to give it to him, man. Carter definitely has the size, but Libre is all about it. Nice reverse from Libre into the rope. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Wow, and that's what Carter's all about right there. One hell of a clothesline, going for a cover, getting a two. Wow. Man. I can't believe the that? Afro just didn't <laughs> fly off yeah, with right? that clothesline. I'm surprised he's not bald after that move. Dang. Carter now doing the smart move. Wow. Continue to work on Libre as he's down. I think Disco's trying to get his his bearings together, but uh, look, two fistful of hands. The referee needs to get in there. Nice forearms by Disco, now a left. But Carter forces him back into the corner with some shoulder blocks right into the midsection. Wow, 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 man. Did you see that? Libre going down like he literally like hit a, a brick wall. And Libre's not a big guy. No, not at so all. So being thrown with that force against those turnbuckles, Man. that has to jack your spine in ways that you uh, do not want to have to do. I, I can't even imagine. That, that's just crazy. That, that's just crazy. Carter now still standing on the back of the neck. Smart move. You, you know, you take, you take, you, you hit the corner like that and it knocks the wind out of you. Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely. And now Carter's continuing to work on the back of that neck. Yep. Smart move, and now the lateral stretch. Uh, yep, yep. Continuing that work on that spine. Now, that, that's, I'll tell you what, Libre's in a very dangerous spot, man. Oh, absolutely. All, all that work on, all that assault on your spine, man, is only gonna take so much before it gives. Libre fighting out of it. Probably looking for the ropes. What's he trying to do here? Looks like he was able to get his leg wow, free. Nice. However, belly to belly suplex there by Carter with the cover. Disco kicks out. Much to the delight of his fans. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. These fans over here are going crazy. That's a lot, that's a lot of Afro sheen going on over there. Harden now whipping Libre back into the corner. Looks like he's getting ready to charge himself. Libre oh. two feet to the face. <laughs> yeah, that'll bring uh, anybody to a quick stop. Wow, nice. Jawbreaker there by Libre. And take a look at this. Dave McCall now jumping on the ring apron. What's up with this ref, man? Come on, get him We're, down out of there. He needs to get control. Hey! Uh, the dance moves come in handy. Roll yeah. up. Oh, and yeah. that is it. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner.
the Hex Libre too and going back into the ring. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe all those dancers took something loose or something. I think he's trying to turn the wrestling mat into a dance floor. Go dance with yeah, them. Yeah, no, I don't think so. No, well, I don't think so. Tell you what, while I try and get the ball guy in there, just go a little bit with Disco Libre. We're going to oh, take it to commercial. We'll be right back. This is Carlito, and if you want to become a professional wrestler and learn how to train the correct way, then there's no better place to go than the Wild Samoan Training Center. And that, my friends, that's cool. Wild Samoan Training Center at WXWC4 Headquarters. Located at 309 East Hamilton Street, Allentown, Pennsylvania, 18109. The Wild Samoan Training Center has been a staple in pro wrestling for many decades and has produced some of the best athletes and wrestlers to grace the ranks of sports entertainment. Now, with their own brand, WXWC4's Blast TV, on the rise. Talent from all over has been clamoring to be a part of the new explosive era. WXWC4 Blast TV, on Service Electric Cable, Friday, 10 p.m., Channel 50, and on Blue Ridge Cable, Saturday, 1 p.m., Channel 13. For any questions, or even to buy a ticket to one of WXWC4's explosive shows, head over to the WXWC4 store at www.wxwc4.com. One more time, that's www.wxwc4.com.
introducing first from Rosewood Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio, weighing 185 pounds, Nick Nero. Nick Nero making his way to the ring right now, C4. C4, you know, this is a great experience as we bring it to you always. But you know what, fans, your experience just got better because joining me for this action tonight is the one and only, my old commentating buddy here, one Mr. Doc Daniels. Welcome back to the headset, my friend. Ball guy, I feel like this is where I belong. I'm, I feel at home sitting I'm next to you. I'm telling you, this is, I, I, look at that. I got goose pimples, man. I got goosebumps, you know? You and me both. And what a match to start for our return to the commentating table. Right on, you got that right. Nick Nero taking on the man. You hear the music. making his return to C4 Plus TV from Manoa, Hawaii, weighing 220 pounds, the flying Hawaiian Kikoa. All right, the flying Hawaiian Kikoa making his way back here to C4. It's, it's been a good number of years since we saw this young man here as part of our as part of our C4 family. It has been a number of years, but Kakoa is no uh, 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 Wow man. What's up with him? I don't know, but <laughs> as I was saying, <coughs> Kakoa the flying Hawaiian uh, when WSWC4 started he was he was a big player here, a former hybrid champion. <laughs> Nick Nero is here to change the world. <laughs> Yo, Doc, man, make it stop, make it stop. This kid, <laughs> I'm telling you, he. Oh, uh, thank you, Kakoa, man. Apparently, Kakoa had enough. <laughs> But Holy Nick, cow. Nick Nero, he's a special case here in WSWC4 because he came to us via WSW in Florida. That's right. Former That's right. world champion down in uh, WSW down in Florida, WSW yeah. world heavyweight champion, nice. and now he's here at C4. Nice. If he's able to continue to keep the momentum up here that he had down there, he will join an elite group of people that have held both the C4 Ultimate Heavyweight Championship and the WSW World Title. Well, man, so far it's not working out too good because Kako is taking it to Nero hot and heavy, man. Nero now out here taking his... Uh, I guess legal 10 second break, if you will. Absolutely, you know? it's a great time to catch your breath. But look at Kikoa here, hiding. Nick Nero, I think he lost track of him. And look at that, wow. what a clothesline on the wow. outside of the ring. Man, Nero is flat out. Kikoa right now riding high, man, riding high. You know, I'm sure Nick Nero watched tapes of Kakoa in preparation for this oh, match. Sure. But the problem is, if he was watching from his first run here in WSWC4, that is a very different Kikoa than we have here tonight. You're, you know what, you're absolutely right, you're absolutely right. And being being that Nick Nero is, is a graduate of the Wild Samoan Training Center and comes to us from WXW in Florida, then you know, you know darn well that Nick Nero was taught how to do his Oh, absolutely. How to do it. No doubt about that. Ducks the line, does Nero off the ropes, flying crossbody. And look at Kakoa, he rolls through it, holding on to him, picking wow. him up. I'll tell you, that is strength. And yeah. it's a little, like I said, it's different. Kakoa wow. did not have that type of strength when he was with us the first 
uh, during his first run here in C4. You're right, man. It, it's it's got to be that. What is it with that side of the world, man? That like South, that South Pacific thing. You know? Yeah, they they. Those folks are people I would not want to mess around with. I'm telling you, man. You know, all those years I did, look at that. Nice flying crossbody. Two. No. Kicking out with the two. Nero kicking out. Nero getting that shoulder way up, which is telling, even though he took a beating for him to be able to kick out with such force, shows that he is not down and out yet. Uh, what's Nero up to? Man, please don't tell me he's getting back on that, on that mega ball. I think he I think I think he's using it a different way. Kick to the midsection, Nero now with knee lift right to the face of Kikoa. Kikoa returning, he recently had an injury, you can see that left knee is braced up. If Nero was smart, he would zone in on that and focus and take the legs out from Kikoa because you don't have your legs, you can't fly. You're, you're absolutely right, you're absolutely right. And you and I have said that for years doing commentary, that man, when your opponent is down, you gotta stay on top of him. Do your showboat after you get the win. Absolutely. And we and I've mentioned earlier that this is the difference, Kikoa. Abs much yes. stronger, but still yes. you take out those legs. There goes your strength, there goes your high flying, there goes everything. Well, without a doubt, I mean Nero definitely has a height advantage, but Kikoa certainly seems to have the weight and the build advantage over Nero. Nero looks like he could use a good Sunday dinner or two and put into him. <laughs> Now Nero, Nero he, he, this is not his first rodeo. He should know. He should know that there's a time and a place for the showboating because let's face it, I've done it a number of times myself. But you need to know when that time is because he should have been on him and he almost, he could have lost the match with basically a rookie mistake. So is it that, oh, Nero going for a cover and Kikoa kick it out. So let me ask you this, is, is it Nero is it is it really kind of like a rookie mistake or being that he had such a great run in WXW Florida that he's coming up here, man, and thinking he's just the cat's pants and, and you know, and he doesn't have to work as hard. Because I'll tell you what, if he thinks he doesn't have to work hard against this locker room, that young man's gonna learn one hell of a lesson. You're absolutely right. Not so much a rookie mistake on Nero's part, but more of an arrogant mistake. Yes, yes, absolutely, thank you. Now Nero going for the cover, but still there. You can tell he paused a little bit before he uh, hooked the leg. The result is Kikoa kicking out at two. Nero now, I don't know what he has planned. He's going on the outside and looks like he's trying to drag Kikoa with him. Big elbow into the midsection. And with the edge of that apron, you know, that gives some support. There's no giving that. <laughs> Flipping Senton from the apron again on top of Kakoa. Now Nero crawling in with the cover, hooking the leg, but Kakoa kicks out. Going right to that sleeper hold, does Nero very smart. Took the breath out of uh, Kakoa with those elbows to the midsection and the Senton, and now locking in the dreaded sleeper hold. Referee checking Kakoa. That's one. Two, one more to go, and this match is over. And there's Nero, smart, smart, wrenching it in. But Kakoa, he is not done just yet. Fighting his way back up and puts him on his back. What's he doing here? Kakoa going for a little ride. Excuse me, Nero going for a little ride directly yeah. into the corner. But not there he, again, locking on that sleeper hold. Smart move by Nero. And Kakoa, man. Kakoa using the corner to his advantage, man. Kakoa's got the fire of Pele burning in him. Burning in him. What a kick to the head by Nero. Climbing up to the middle rope there as Kakoa tries. And there it is! Wow. Looks like Nero was going for a flying crossbody and reversed into a, a snap power slam there. However, Kakoa is not going for the pin. This could be a mistake. Both men now getting up. Referee at four, on his way to ten. Nero makes the mo uh, Nero makes the first move. Chop block there by Kakoa. Lifts him up. Flapjack. Beautiful move. Wow. All right. 
Right. Kapoa, you got to go for that's, the cover. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. It's missing an opportunity. He's looking for the crowd, man. The crowd's already behind you. And honestly, let's face it, no one cares about the crowd support, least of, least of all me. <laughs> right? Kakoa going to the top rope. Comes off. Nice oh! elbow. Oh, oh, man. Cover. This could be it. Wow. But Nero kicks out. Are you kidding me? Proving why wow. he is a former champion down in Florida. Wow, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm really impressed. I really thought after that flying elbow from Kako off that top rope, man, I thought that was it for Nero. I mean, look at the kid. You know, I, you, I'm, I, you know, I gotta tell you, man, I'm, I'm really surprised. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Well, you know, Nero, he's no stranger to the Pacific Islanders down in WXW Florida. Yeah, right. He had a yeah. memorable feud with Sean Maluda, who oh, we know all too well right. up here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Kakoa picked uh, Nero up, but Nero was able to fight out. Needed the midsection. Off the rope goes Nero. Looked like he was going for a neck break, but was reversed. The spot kick right to the chin. Kakoa with the cover. And again, Nero kicks out. Wow. Wow. You know, Kakoa now at this point has got to be wondering, wow. Because I'm not sure when this match started off, man. Kakoa came off heavy. You know, I'm sure he thought this was going to be an easy win for him. But again, honestly, I thought it was going to be an easy win for him too. But man, Nero is really kicking it up. I'm really impressed. Not only that, but one thing we didn't talk about that we have taken into factor, with the injury it put him out of the ring, there could still be some ring rust that needs to be worked out. And that is where Nero has the advantage. Now Nero straddling the top rope as Kakoa looks like he's setting him up for something. Well, you know Kakoa, man. Kakoa likes to take it high. And here we go, and, and uh, here we go, man. Well, Nero clocking. Holding on is Nero. Put some fist to that midsection, trying to break the hold. That headbutt, that was a headbutt. <laughs> a headbutt. Oh! 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 Right to the head Man. with that knee. Wow. Nero may be out on the top. Wow. Again, Kakoa going back, trying to pull off this high risk maneuver with high risk. Could come high rewards or high consequences. Oh! Superplex. Oh, wow. That has to be all ball guy. Wow. Oh, are you? Come on. I don't believe this. Nero proving that he is a player here in WHWC4, wow. <laughs> kicking out of that big superplex. Oh. And even Kakoa is surprised. He's shocked. Man. Fans, where are you catching this C4 experience, man? Are you watching it on Service Electric? Are you watching it on Blue Ridge? Roku, WXWC4.com. Are you checking it out on Facebook? Wherever, who cares, man? Welcome to the C4 experience. Kakoa, man, going up to the top, giving the signal. Here we go. What's Nero going to do? I don't know, man. Nero? Again, Kakoa taking his time, and, it, and he paid for it. Yep, yep, yep. Nero off the ropes there. What the? Beautiful move by Nick Nero, the wow. cover, and that is all she wrote. Look at that, look at that. Here is your winner, Nick Nero. Only Nero's second wow. match here in WXW, but he is making a statement, and he is making a statement fast. That is awesome. He was the king of the mountain in Florida for a period of time. And I, I think it's safe to say that Nero expects to be the king of the mountain here in Allentown. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a short break. Make sure you return here as Last TV continues on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. 
It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can think and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. You change. You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Things certainly heating up here among the C4 locker room. We return on Saturday night, June the 6th, 2015. Check out our website, www.wxwc4.com. Like us on Facebook, any of your basic social media outlets. WXW World Extreme Wrestling C4. What a night it's been. I leave you fine folks here with one final question. Who's got time for one more match? Oh, come on, C4 Nation, I said, who's got time for one more match? Oh, you know that's the sound I've been looking for, and away we go live from the Mountainville Memorial Hall in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This is your C4 Blast exclusive WXWC4 Breaking Point. Main event! 
It will be a special attraction mixed tag team a crunch match scheduled for one fall. And when the bell sounds, the man in command, your referee, Mr. Daniel Marsh. Well, here we go. Introducing first, from Hollywood, Florida, the team of Mike Valentino and his new Naya Diana. Doc Daniels, I know you've been following this. Absolutely. This is a match months in the making. It was just last month that Naya made her return to WSWC for trying to get her hands on what Mikey Valentino calls the new and improved Naya. And that all led to this match after a lot of emotion was let out by Naya last month. Well, you know, I'll tell you. Maybe, maybe new and improved. I don't know Naya, but maybe new and improved. For fans that may not remember, this all started with Mikey Valentino proposing to his longtime girlfriend, getting to the wedding after Naya accepted in front of her friends, family, and fans, embarrassing her, super kicking his best friends, RJR and this man, Stevie Shields, and then power bombing Naya. And the opponents first from King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, weighing 175 pounds, he is your WXW C4 Hybrid Champion, Cinema Stevie Shields. And, and what a power bomb it was, man. What a power bomb it was, Doc Daniels. Watching Nia go through that table, through that wedding cake. Man, I'll tell you. That was really something. That uh, that was definitely a moment that will live a long time in C4 history. And fans, if you missed it, if you weren't here, if you didn't catch it on Blast TV, all you got to do is go to WSWC4.com to relive that moment. Oh, yeah, man. Stevie Shields, your hybrid champion, defeating Mikey Valentino for the belt. On top of that brutal chairs match the two had last month here in Mountainville. You're absolutely right, but here we go, man. Here's the music and here And his go. tag team partner from Los Cruces, New Mexico, Diamond Division standout, she is Naya! And there she is, Naya. Look at that, man. She's a ball of fire. She's ready to go. Nia has a lot of pent-up aggression that she wants to get out tonight, I'm sure. Hey, look at that, man. They brought my title back here. Question is, who do you think is in most danger? Diana or Mikey Valentino? You know, I you know, I gotta tell you, th th that's that's a tough call, man. That that's a tough call. I think uh, you know, honestly, I, I would have to put my money uh, on Mike Valentino. I think Mike Valentino, is, I think, will get it a lot worse from Nia than Deanna will. Tell you, nothing is worse. Nothing, is, what do they say? Nothing, nothing. No hell, hell no, there no fury like a woman scorned. And we are seeing that here tonight. Oh, boy, and we sure saw it last week. Absolutely. Month. Holy cow. Looks like Nia is ready to start things off. She wants her hands on Deanna, and let's remind the fans of the rules of a mixed tag match. The men wrestle the men, the women wrestle the women. So if a tag is made immediately, the other side needs to adjust accordingly. You're, you're absolutely right, you're absolutely right. And, and while that may be good for Mikey Valentino, it is gonna be very bad for Deanna, especially, and I think she knows it, I don't know if, if she's taunting or wait, what's going on? Oh! oh. <laughs> Tope right through the middle and top rope. Mikey Valentino goes down, but Deanna is able to escape, but oh. maybe not for long. Here we go. Look at this. Ding, ding. This match. Oh, Deanna coming 
with a slap across the face. Uh oh, getting a tag. That means Mikey Valentino in. Naya, she's out of there, man. Tommy Shields, or Stevie Shields, excuse me, has got to get into that match. And you see the referee stopping Naya. Yep, yep. He's well, you know, he's doing his job, and it's nice to see finally these dumb officials doing something right around. It may be his job, but it is not going to be an easy one here tonight. Yo, you got that right. You got that right. And you know, I'll tell you, it's quite a surprise. Naya is even here because after her breakdown last month here in Allentown, not only was she fined five thousand dollars, but there right. was also the possibility of her being suspended for six months. But that has not happened, man. But she's paid that fine. And there, Nadia again, she does not want to wait. She does not want to wait to get her hand on her opponent. And look at, look at, look at Mike, man. Mike Valentino just taunting her, taunting her. But you know what? He knows what to do to get her worked up. You're absolutely right. He, he knows he can work her. Because it, it, their relationship transcends the ring. Yeah, yep, yep. And you know what? Nia, if Nia were smart, Nia would act like she just don't give a damn. Really? That, she would just, she wouldn't, she wouldn't pay it any mind. Okay, do you hear the ch the fans chanting, let them fight, let them fight? Yep. Yeah, they want it, man. They want it. They want to see Nia get her revenge. Take down there by Mikey Valentino, but he needs to keep his ring positioning in mind, not just keeping his opponent into the center of the ring for the pin, but he needs to stay as far away as possible as the... He needs to stay as far away as possible from Nia's corner. Yep, yep, absolutely, absolutely. Because honestly, I don't think anymore it's about winning or losing for Nia. I think it's about getting retribution. I, you know what, and I, and I think you're right. I think you're right. Mike Valentino, Stevie Shields in a, in a scissor lock, but uh, Stevie Shields out of it, so. Stevie and Mikey, no stranger to each oh, other. No, no, Mike. No Mikey. Mike. Mike. Yeah, he doesn't like Mikey, man. Don't let him hear you call him Mikey. It's, it's, believe me, it's not a good thing. So Stevie and Mike, Mike no strangers yes. to each yes. other. Absolutely. Number of matches over the past couple months. Traded the hybrid title back and forth between the two. But more importantly, they trained together at the Wild Samoan Training Center. And, and you know, you gotta wonder, man, where is RJR? Where is Sergeant RJR? Because Valentino, Shields, and Sarge, man, the three of them, they were the core brotherhood of this locker room here in C4. You know, and now that's been damaged. Where is Sergeant RJR? That's a very good question. But ball guy, Mike, Mike Valentino, utilizing one of your favorite moves, the thumb to the eye. Yep. However, it's not stopping Stevie Shields. Beautiful arm drags taking Mike down. Mike, I don't think he knows where he is. Nice shot from there by Stevie. I'm telling you, man, Stevie Shields, he got to give it to this guy, man. He, he is really, I think, in my opinion, one of the, the strongest forces we have in our C4 locker room. Had a, a, a hell of a crop of students coming out of the Wild Samoan Training Center in recent years. Mike Valentino, Stevie Shields, RJR, Naya, and of course our WSW C4 Ultimate Heavyweight Champion, Bonacoda. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm telling you, man, you want to learn how to do this? You want to be a part of this business? And I'm telling you what, Wild Samoan Training Center, it's the only way to get it done. Only way to check, get it done. Man, Facebook them, get their information, contact them. I'm telling you, this is the place to do it. We got a part test. of the C4 experience. Absolutely, but right now in the ring, we got to test the strength going on. But Stevie is able to get it now into a headlock. Mike blocking the cross body, spins him, but Stevie lands on his feet. Off the ropes goes Stevie again. Spinning head scissors into that Russian leg sweep. Stevie holds on, but it looks like Mike broke out, picks him up. Oh. Nice spine buster there by Valentino. Yes, yes, and look at look at him, looking at Naya. When Shields, man, when he bounced up off of that ring, did you see Valentino's face, man, looking at Naya? Absolutely. Saying, saying, honey, you're next, this is you. And did you notice after he hit that spine buster, normally cover right away, but it was a lot of the eyes with Nia that prevented him from doing it that quick, which may have been just enough time for Stevie to kick out. Nia may be a huge, huge distraction 
to Valentina. Absolutely, absolutely. But now, let me ask you a quick question, Doc Daniel. You were here, you were here when Nia took on Joey Janela. Ab oh, absolutely. Do you think we are gonna see a Mike Valentino and Nia match at any time in the future? If Nia had her way, I would say yes. If Mike has his way, I would say no. However, ultimately, th these two are gonna collide at some point. Oh, yeah. And those matches that Nia had, she proved she could hang with the boys. They were brutal with Janela. But this is personal, and it is going to be so much worse when she gets her hand on Mike Valentino. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised that Nia has been controlling herself and not just getting in there to get her in Valentino. Valentino with some rolling Man. Germans there yep. holding on. Yep. And there he is taunting, oh. taunting Nia, Three. bridging this time. Steve's still wow. able to kick out at two. Man. You hear Deanna on the outside, on the apron, yelling at the referee that that should have been three. And look, look at Valentino again. The mind games, the mind games he's playing with Nia, and he has gotten mighty good at that over the past couple of months. Oh! Oh, boy! Ah. Now here, you asked, it, are we going to see him together? Doing? Stevie Shields tagged out. Deanna must now come in the ring based on the rules of a mixed tag match. But it looks like Deanna wants nothing to do with Nia. Yeah, and this, and this crowd, man, this crowd wants Valentino in there. Now we're gonna see. Oh, look at this, man. Look at her. Holy cow, man. See, now that's that fire I was talking about before. That Latina fire that Nia has. Shoot. And now Deanna coming out and taunting her opponent. Wow. Oh, that looked like she's trying. Nia's trying. But again, the mind games, it wasn't about the tagging out. It was about Nia getting so close and taking it away from her. Man, and Valentino comes running in and knees or feet to Shields. I couldn't tell from this, from this, uh, from this viewing angle. But uh, man, Shields went down. And Valentino went for the cover. Nia trying to get the crowd behind Stevie Shields, and I don't think it's going to take much. No, I don't think it's going to take much either, to tell you honestly. Stevie, the WXWC4 hybrid champion, taking a bit of a beating here. Lands on his feet. Nice move. Sabat to the midsection. Kick. Now some fists to the face. Stevie now off the ropes, oh. but there's Deanna with the Look knee that. in the back. Look at that. Just enough momentum now. Oh, oh, Valentino on his feet. Stevie again goes for the spinning head scissors in to the Russian leg sweep. That's brutal, man. Both men are now down. Uh, this, this crowd wants Nia in that ring, man. They well, want Nia in there. Well, at this point in a tag match, you know, Mike, obviously would go right and tag his partner in, but that's dangerous for Deanna. If he wants to protect her, he wouldn't tag in. However, oh. I don't think he has much of a choice. Oh, now he's in. Oh! oh. Wow! Flying crossbody <laughs> off the top to her former fiance, and again. Oh. Listen to this crowd. Quickly, Nia again ascending to the top. Mike has no idea where he is. Wow. By Nia takes Mike off his feet. Come on, Valentino, let's go. Referee needs to get control in this match. Mike is not supposed to be in the ring. Deanna needs to step right. in. And Deanna now dropping down from the apron. Valentino, though, on his feet. This, oh, oh, Nia's got a hold of Deanna. But look, now Mike's got a hold of Nia. Oh, no, don't do it. What? Don't do it. Not what? the power bar oh! again. This is what he did on their wedding day. Picks him up, looks like he's going oh. for a crucifix oh. power bomb. Nia with the roll up, but the referee not counting. She is not the legal person. Or Mike is not the legal person, if I remember correctly. Oh! I don't know, I'm so confused. But there's Stevie Shields making his move, going for the cover. Now here's Deanna. Stevie almost taking the head of Mike Valentino off. But again, Deanna being that 
<laughs> extra factor. Yes, yeah, some man. Oh, I, I have no idea what's going on here. Well, I'm telling you, the thing is, <laughs> Deanna wants nothing to do with Nia, but oh! Oh, man! What a move by Valentino. Wow. Both men again now down, but as I was saying, I don't think Deanna has any intentions of getting in the ring oh. with Nia. Oh, Stevie Shields kicking out. Wow. No, and you know, and I agree with you, man. She's not, she's not stupid. I'm sure, I'm sure Mike has told Deanna every little thing he could remember about Nia and every little thing. I'll bet you, I'll, you know, man, Deanna knows. She knows. But, you know, why they think they're getting the edge with the, the mind game, I got to think all it's doing is upsetting Nia even more. What's going on here? Stevie bringing Nia up. Look at this. From the outside of the apron, referee's back turned because of uh, Deanna. There's Stevie Shields. Saving Nia from what could have been a, a, a terrible fate. What? Wait, what do we got here? What? Wait a minute. What? Oh! oh! Wow! What a move! What a move! And that is it. C4 Nation. Here are your winners. The team of the Hybrid Champion Cinema Stevie Shields and No. Tag match. Wow. However, ball guy, notice as soon as that three count was made, Deanna ran. Uh -oh. wait, 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 what's going on here? Naya! I gotta think. Naya! This is not the Hi, last sweetheart. time. These four individuals will be together in that ring. Hey, Naya! Huh? Naya! Naya! Okay? <laughs> I'll wait all night. I don't care. You need to realize all of your actions led up to exactly what happened to you on your wedding day. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. I don't know that I Look in the there. mirror. Take a long, hard look at yourself and realize you are no woman. Deanna better no choose woman her at words all. carefully. Michael Go Man, are you kidding oh, me? Oh, wait. Are you kidding me? Are you, oh, look at this, look at this action. The fans huh? thoroughly behind Nia. That's not a woman. A woman is not crazy. And last month, you proved how psychotic you are. I'll wait. I'll wait all night. I think Nia's ready to go right now. Yeah. Yeah. Michael deserves a real, classy woman. And that is exactly what he has right now. So get used to this. Because it's not going anywhere, sweetheart. Uh, no, Naya, Naya has...